Okay, we are June 6th. We're up in Orleans County and we have a cornfield here about in V5. Growing very well. Uh, it's been dry up here, but things are going gangbusters with a little rain. So we're out here scouting for insect pests, particularly black cutworm. So we're going down the rows and scanning, looking at healthy plants, healthy plants, looking for one that's wilted or cut. And we happen to find one of those right here. This one here has uh, been fed upon. Uh, you can see, you pull it out here, you can see the dead dead tissue where the, the black cutworm had crawled up in here and has hauled this out so he stayed kind of below ground. So now we got to find him. Is it truly here? Is he still here? So you want to look for some gaps or somewhere where this guy's hiding. They're nocturnal, so they're hiding during the day. And we see this plant he's been feeding on underground. And we want to lightly just pluck this up and look for the, the cutworm hiding in close proximity to that cut plant. And if they're here, it's very easy to pop them up. They're usually just right under the soil surface, stayed and hidden during the day, and will pop out at night to feed on other, other plants. And here he is, okay? You see him dug down in here. Oh, he's a big one too. Okay. There is the black cutworm. Hiding, curled up underneath there during the day, and he's feeding on this plant, actually below ground, very protected from natural enemies and such. But there he is. So he's about uh, probably an inch in length. Um, again, has that dark black, gray look to them. Uh, look very closely. You know, there's some some black dots going down the side, spiracles where they actually breathe from. But he's uh, he's small for a black cutworm. He'll probably get an uh, inch and a quarter to inch and a half at full length. And so at this point here, he's probably just uh, at an inch. He could do more damage. This plant, though, these plants are getting fairly large. And at V5, usually at V6, they can't cut them anymore. These plants' bottoms get too thick, and they do exactly what he was doing here, is actually hollowing out um, the plant stem. Now, this is almost gone, so he's probably going to go to another plant fairly soon, one of these adjacent ones here, and start feeding on those. So what we want to look for again, the wilted plants. Dig very, very gently next to the plant in the soil and you will find uh, the culprit here, the black cut one.